uh, basically what this game is, is I, I played it on my channel, like, when I first started out, you want to see some, like, prime Mr. Dude Mancer, just go back to, like, Game Dev Tycoon. That was, like, the start of my channel. It was, it was pretty cool. Though, uh, it was my fav- my, my friends' favorite, sh like, series. Although I stopped it because I wanted to move on to, like, more storyline, uh, oriented games. Uh, and so I was like, oh, let's go ahead and stream it. It's a pretty fun game. Pretty cool. There you go, that's that. But cool. Everything's working fine, right? Yeah, the game's full screen. Cool, let's get into this. Okay, so I left off with a blood-sucking simulator. I have, like, a lot of fans. Like, why- oh, this is the year. I have 16.3 fans. Awesome! And this is the industry of Ninvento. They have announced a new mobile console called the Ninvento GS, which obviously is that the top of all the gaming consoles at that time. One of them is touch sensitive and promises unique gameplay. While Ninvento has been struggling to regain the market lead after the Test 64, they have still a very strong position in the mobile market. Obviously, they can't use the actual terms because copyright and stuff. The Ninvento promises its strength and stuff. Cool. Create a game with good topic, genre, combination. Apparently that's what... Oh dear. Is all is like all the achievements for me reinstalling the game, like, just... <laughs> I think so. It's like, you just started the game. You unlocked all these things. Oh dear, you're gonna see... Okay, cool. Uh, okay, so I have Erica, Lori, and me down here. With my cup of coffee and... Oh dear, the PSV is coming out. Well, the PSP, actually. Uh, today, Vony announced they are launching a new mobile gaming console and the portable play system, or PPS, later next year. Media analysis speculate this announcement is meant to distract users from Nintendo's launch. Sadly enough, though, uh, the DS won out over the PSP. They utilize Inventive Dual Screen and is much better in every way, but it has less games and isn't as popular. Okay, so Bloodsucking Simulator is going to end soon, and then I can create another game, right? Hey look, it's been released! Uh, how games work in this? Uh, is you have to buy a license to the game, like, console, which actually works in real- that's how it works in real life. Before you can actually make games for it. You have to, like, funnel out money and then hope to make your money back from developing a game for it. Um, so, uh, let me see what kind of, uh, actually I'll just do some contract work to get myself in the, the mood. So, basically these are just like, you, you say you're gonna do something, and you funnel points into them. This is technology, and this is design. Obviously, like, uh, a game like Fallout would be more into design than technology, because there's freaking glitches everywhere. But something that has better graphics, or like, just freaking amazing in every way, but doesn't have much gameplay, would be more on the technical side. Uh, each character in mine has like a different, uh, uh, you know, side they're good at. I'll just start out here though, so I can see which one. I uh, see those like researching it up. Hey look, blood sucking simulators now off the market. It's sold 209,000 units, and it's made a million and a half. Cool. By the way, games cost a lot of money to make, so I mean like, eh, that's probably not. It's probably just a little bit of a uh, bonus. Okay, after you, your game is done, you can see how it did and like what you did good or wrong. So this is blood sucking simulator. I made, okay, never mind, I made a lot of profit off of this. Uh, 1.2 million profit to be exact. Uh, it was an average of 8 and top sales of uh, 9, which is pretty cool. That's, that means it got 9, uh, it's the ninth best like computer when it game when it came out. Um, so, uh, yeah, select this. And all like this, the girl Erica Robinson with her and her coffee and like CDs of music just strewn all around. Uh, obviously they're all Bon Jovi because in this time, uh, that's, that was the hip. And she's going to funnel out exactly what I did good or wrong with this game. Uh, so, uh, yeah, it complete and got the final winning results. Vampire in action is apparently a great combination. Never knew. Graphics are very important, just so you, uh, can exactly, like, see your fangs going directly into their throat and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. Uh, and then Mature and Vampire is pretty good, because you need gore and blood whenever you're going to suck someone's throat out. Uh, this bar here is for not on vacation, like when this gets so far, they'll like not be able to work correctly and you need to send them on vacation. But anyways, everyone's going good. Uh, Lori here has the face of happiness because she really wants to work on developing a new game. Okay, so, 
What type of game do I want to make? Like, let me just scroll through here. Uh, there's, there's this, and it shows me exactly, uh, like, see, evolution games are for everyone, and they're, they're really good with everyone, like, these games are good for, sure. Do I want to make a spy game? I could make, like, a slice of life game. Ah, oh, no, screw it, I'm gonna make a music game, I haven't made one of those before, I seen. Okay, so, casual music game. Pick platform, obviously PC. I'm gonna make, like, an Osu version 2. Uh, like a serve version 1 is my engine I created. <laughs> Uh, I'll make it a medium game. Actually, a small game. Eh. Yeah. Uh, obviously for everyone, so let's do this. Oh no, I forgot to name it! I gotta name this. Uh, what is it going to be? <clears throat> what do you think uh, a new music game would be? There's like Osu. There's like Step Mania. There's like Step Osu? Or, uh, Guitar... Step Guitar Su. Let's just go with that and hope no, like, uh, copyright happens. So, there you go. Text trees! <laughs> that would be amazing, but I'll just go with the 2D graphics. There you go. Step Guitar Sue. Let's see how some uh, casual stuff goes. This is the interface. Uh, it's freaking no story. Simple cutscenes, sure, we get to see, like, some cutscenes every game. Uh, we need to save game. Actually! I think I like a good competitive experience with that. Better user experience. Character progression, screw that. We don't need it. Uh, gameplay all the way, engine maxed up. Screw stories and quests. There you go. Because casual people never want like stories and quests. Okay. So there's a media inquiry. Uh, these things pop up right now and again. I need to read it. Hey, this is Gary Way from Gamers. I got a word that Circo is working on a new game. Would you be willing to share some information on your current game project and do an entry? Yeah! Okay, what is your expectation regarding the success of Guitar Suit? I think the game will be well received. <sighs> to be honest, not really. I don't think this is a very good combination, but I could be wrong. Do, you, do I think that a, uh... A Guitar Osu game that's also like Step Mania back in the day would be popular. Eh, screw it, let's hype it up. If not, I'll lose fans, and that's pretty bad, but I think I can hype it up. Look at me, this fu- oh, Who freaking put six bugs? That's like basically a third of fourth of like all of my points are bugs. Okay, so uh, level design, we want the best beat maps. Dialogue, screw that. Uh, artificial intelligence, we don't want to make it to where you will miss the, uh... Uh, you know... The buttons when you press them, so we need the artificial intelligence up in there. Yeah, look at the ten bugs. I don't know if people just need to go on vacation, but... Something's going on with my bugs, okay. So world design, screw that. Graphics can be, like, halfway. Sound, obviously, can be zero, because who wants sound in a, uh... Music, let's screw that, let's put it all the way up here. 2D graphics, yeah, basic sounds, open world, yeah, sure. Wait, open world? <laughs> Why do we need to Yes, go on! <laughs> oh, dear. I guess you're just gonna be, like, walking around in, like, an open world playing music on your guitar. Oh, man. Well, I mean, I guess we'll, uh, you know, be, uh, doing that. We have some undiscovered bugs in Blood Sucking Simulator. Obviously, I'm going to do this. Um, wait, where do I patch the bugs out of the game? I don't know. I didn't hype this game up because I haven't remembered it. I'm gonna patch out the bugs. They get patched out afterwards and some other stuff gets funneled in. Uh, so I can finish the game uh, after they're done with their stuff. I'll finish it now. Okay, cool. Engine, like all these things get leveled up and you unlock different things for your engine as you go on. Uh, I'm not sure if this game, this Step Guitar Su, is uh, gonna be any good though. And then all these characters get leveled up. As they level up though, they uh, they want more and more money. That's fine. Let's see how Step Guitar Su was received by uh, the gamers. Hey, okay, look, first reviews. Let's see. Come on, give me some tens. Get, get, get uninspiring. But, eh? Okay. It turns out that I should not hype up this game because it falls a bit short according to Game Hero. Eh, this is 
pretty bad. I'm probably gonna lose a bit of money, but I have 3.5 million. The bank. Let's see, uh, I probably went wrong with, uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm not able to make a music game just yet. I don't know. Let's, apparently that pauses the game when I click that. Two months of Dream Vest be taken off the market. Cool. Yeah, eventually game console. Wait, what did I, what console did I make this for? I don't know. But... Gosh darn it, I wanted to freaking do it, but I didn't have time, I was already in the making of a game! Okay, I'll, I'll uh... Let me see what sequels I can make. Okay, so the step guitar is to screw that. Bloodsucking Simulator. What's this? Uh... Chameleon? It's a- oh, apparently it, it didn't do very well, so... There's Pokemon Teal. Surimon, to be exact. Objection was, like, a lost strategy game. And then there's Hadouk and there's probably, yeah, it's martial arts. I made this game. Elder Scrolls Offline? I don't even remember that. <laughs> Shuriken Attack is probably a ninja, yeah, there you go. Game Dev, Game Dev Tycoon? It's a Game Dev game. That's awesome. Call of Mr. Dude, how- I think that, like, was my best game, right? No, it was completely terrible. Never mind. It's Zombie Assault, look at this. It's like Zombie's action game. If 2012 happened? Post-apocalyptic game that basically completely failed. Grey Ops. Oh, good Black Ops. Sitar Hero? I made a music game before. It did also terrible. On the G64, that was apparently before PC. Okay. What should I do? Okay, she needs to go on a vacation. <laughs> Uber. I know, okay, I did say that. Uh, negative effects. I'm gonna fail. You need to go on vacation. Goodbye. You, you kind of just faded away. Do I need another position? Okay, let me see. Can I like see my characters? No, I don't want to fire you. Um, staff list. Okay, so here's me. I'm basically overall in design and technology. There's Erica. That is completely in technology, and then her that is overall in design. I think that's good for now, though.